everybody, hey guys, who's there today? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Halloween at the Manor. Well, in this video, um, as I was editing our video on the DIY tombstones, I kind of felt like I quickly glossed over how I painted the stones. And I wanted to do another video on how I actually paint my stones. I actually made two more here that I'll show you in a couple seconds uh, the day after I made those three. And I haven't quite finished painting them yet. I, I just kind of started on it, I didn't get very far. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how I like to paint my tombstones, uh, just in case you, know, you decide that you wanted to make some of your own and you wanted to try some of the techniques that I was using on the three, the Price, Cushing, and Lee stones that I did. Um, again, you can kind of do whatever you want as far as the painting goes. Um, you could just paint them all gray, you know, sharpie on some black lettering and call it good. But um, if you were interested on how uh, I did some of those techniques, I have done some of those techniques in other videos in the past, uh, but that was probably like two years ago. So we're just gonna do like an updated video. So if you're interested, why don't you come along and uh, let's get painting. The first thing I like to do is go over all the areas of the stone I dremeled with a black spray paint. I usually always use a gray paint as the base color on my tombstones, so spray painting the dremel areas black really makes them stand out against the gray background. If you have any other paint at your disposal, say black or white, you can use that as well. Now as far as the gray paint is concerned, you can use paint like this one here. I got this at Walmart for $2.50 and it's from the company Apple Barrel. Now, depending on how many stones you make, you may need a few other bottles to complete this project. You can also go check out your local Home Depot and check out their oops section. It's usually right behind the paint desk. If a customer doesn't like the color after it's been mixed, Home Depot will discount the paint 80 to 90% off. I got this can here for eight bucks two years ago, and they always have gray shades of paint in that oop section. So let's go ahead and start laying down our base color. Again, I'm using gray as my base, but like I mentioned, if you have some black or white paint laying around, you can use that as well. You can put on as many coats as you want. I usually go over both the front and back of the stone until I can no longer see the color of the wood peeking through. Now, if you just plan on painting these gray and that's it, you probably want to put on at least two coats of paint on the tombstones. All right, so here are the painted stones. If you wanted to stop here, you can. If you like the way they look and you're happy with them, that's cool. However, if you wanted to take them up a notch, let's go over some additional techniques. One technique you can do to make your tombstone look like actual stone is to use a sponge. Again, you can get these at Walmart for a buck or two. I'm gonna use white paint here. Dab the sponge into the white paint, then dab it some more on a piece of cardboard. Gently apply the sponge to the stone. The goal here is to make the wood look more like actual stone. You can go as heavy or as light as you want. You can do this over the entire stone if you like the way it looks. Another option too is after using the white paint, you could go back over the white with black to give it a more speckled look. If this is the first time you are trying this, maybe start doing this on the back of the stone and until you get more comfortable. However, you cannot screw this up. If you do, you can always repaint the area with your base color and start again. Another popular technique is dry brushing. Take a paintbrush and dab it into your paint. Then brush off the excess onto a piece of cardboard. The goal is to have a very minimal amount of paint on your brush. Again, if you're not comfortable, practice on the back of the stone. Gently run the brush against the stone. This helps to bring out texture and add depth onto your tombstone. You can go as heavy or as light as you want. And again, you can't screw this up, just have fun. On my tombstones, I started off dry brushing with the white paint to lighten up the color of my stone. You can go a little bit heavier around the Dremel areas to make them pop even more. After I dry brushed, I sponged some white paint on around the top and the edges of the stone. 
I really wanted to focus on bringing out the image at the top of the stone, the death's head. I really wanted that to pop. Just keep playing with the stone until you like what you see. It could take you an hour, it could take you 15 minutes. I mentioned in our last video, I tried for the first time mixing black paint and water into a spray bottle and spraying the mixture onto the stone to give it a dripping effect. You can also mix them in a plastic cup or bowl and use a paintbrush to get the same effect. Now, you don't have to do this. I just wanted to get more practice and make the stones look more weathered. You can let the paint water mixture naturally dry or gently run a clean paintbrush over it to speed it up. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. Uh, I really like this effect, this weathered effect, this dripping effect. I think it definitely adds something to the tombstones. Another option you can use if you want to make your tombstone look more weathered is to add a mixture of green and brown paints to give the stone a mossy look. I usually just use a sponge and gently dab on the mixture to the stone. Now, this is something that you don't have to do. I don't do this on every tombstone that I make. Uh, I do like what it gives you. I do like that weathered mossy look that it gives you. Um, just play around with it. If there are sections where you feel like it's too green, maybe dab on some more brown and vice versa. If there are sections that you think are too brown, just dab on some more green. Again, you cannot screw this up. If you go too heavy and you don't like the way it looks, just paint over it again and start over. You can't mess this up. Just have a good time and enjoy being creative. So here's a look at the finished tombstones. Overall, I think they came out all right. I may go back at some point and do some more work on the Jacob Atkins stone. Uh, I don't, I think the top area there might be too mossy looking. So I might go back and fix it at a later time, but there comes a point when you're working on these that you just have to call it. Anyway, I hope this video helps you guys if you wanted to try some of these techniques on your own tombstones. I really think you should at least give it a try. Uh, it definitely takes the tombstones up to the next level and really does make them more realistic. But anyway, if you have any questions, just ask in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care. Bye.